um, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some mono green Tron in best of three ranked some more. Uh, I've been just really, really liking this deck. Uh, we had some good success with it the last time we played it. I wanted to keep playing it some more. Uh, the change that we're going to make since the last time is we talked about putting in, just putting in Ripjaw Raptors in the main, uh, you know, before I had like the Wayward Sword too. So I was going to try that with the um, Crucible of Worlds, but I've, I've moved away from Crucible of Worlds, just have the Crucible over in the sideboard and going to try the Ripjaw Raptors in the main deck there. Um, that's that's like the main thing. And then then because of that, I, I'm putting in a couple Brontodons. Uh, since since I have two, taken out two Ripjaws from the sideboard, I got two extra slots, so I get two Brontodons in here as well. Um, so that should, should help out against aggro some. Still a little bit of a debate between playing the third Blast Zone instead of the Karns Bastion. I'm going to start with the Karns Bastion again and see if we really get to use it or we'll see if maybe we just want the third blast zone instead of that um but yeah this deck's just been a, a whole lot of fun been really enjoying it i really like karn the great creator and ugin is cool and i liked this plain white celebration card quite a bit last time so let's keep keep on running this hey what's up rex hey radical guru all right let's uh, get started Mono Green Tron. Ooh, it's pack day today. We'll be getting some packs. So we're in Diamond right now. Uh, we're going to be playing these three decks here today. Mono Green Tron, Grixis Control, and Bant Arcbow um, on our way to Mythic. Hopefully getting there today, but, you know, maybe not. The reason why we have Force Landing as our option against Flyers that we're choosing is because of Rekindling Phoenix and Arclight Phoenix. Both of those Phoenix cards, just using a Destroy a Creature with Flying, uh, isn't isn't very good against them. And they're both pretty popular uh, Flyers. Uh, so we want to just get rid of those cards for good. So we want to put them on the bottom of the library. You know, basically exile, exiling them, not just putting them in the graveyard where they get to come back. Yeah, and Cafnet as well. But the Phoenixes are the, the ones that see the most play. You don't see tons of Cafnets running around, but yeah, you, you do play against Cafnet at times. So six lands and an Ugin on the play. Probably a Mulligan. All right, I think having turn four Nissa. Could be a little bit better. Um, and yeah, I'll keep the Karn for after. I'll probably play Karn after Nissa. Like, try to get to Nissa first and have a lot of mana. And then be able to Karn and minus. Back when there were a lot of enchantments, like when you wanted to kill like Drakes and Wilderness Reclamation, you know, Crushing Canopy was like the go-to card. There's not as many enchantments to destroy and more Phoenixes, which don't just leave whenever you just simply kill them. They can come back. And so that's made Force Landing a better option. Well, this didn't go very well.
expect me to tuck my tail between my legs? That didn't go very well. That didn't go very well at all. Alright, let's try again. So against uh, against Gruul, I want all the Force Landings, I want all the Riptar Raptors. Brontanon's not so bad either. I kind of think that Karn may just not be too necessary in this matchup. Like none of these enchantments are like, or sorry, none of these artifacts are like amazing. Um, like there's some of them are certainly okay. I think that's what I'm going to do is just move away from Karn and then uh, plain white celebration too slow. And just rely on Nissa and Ugin. Hey Zoe. Okay, well, hopefully we have a little bit better start here. All right, very nice. Just missing a wild growth walker. Not a wild growth walker. So we're gonna be I think we're gonna be kinda aggressive here this this game with them already Already shocking, and then taking another two. Um, so we just make the Jade Light Ranger a four three, and just I could just play another Jade Light next turn. That's the plan. Let's just play another Jade Light next turn. <laughs> That's a great combo. Wander and Command the Dread Horde. Okay. Very good. We got the force landing, so if there is a phoenix, we get to get rid of it. I think that's worth keeping on top, even though we haven't seen a phoenix because of how strong that card is. All right, now hopefully we find that fifth land, and we can Nissa or Vivian next turn. Even if we don't find it, we have you know Branch Walker or Force Landing, which is not a bad turn.
So I could put the counter on Blast Zone here and blow up two drops. Actually, kind of like that. What a glorious day for some anarchy. There'll be nothing but dust when I'm done. I, you can tell down here that we're in the ranked thing. And it also says here, the R means ranked. Hmm. All right, never mind. That's that's not gonna work. Like what I was planning on on doing isn't. It just isn't gonna work. That was just it was just a bad plan. Um. Yeah, it was just a bad plan. Yeah, but these these symbols here on the on the screen also are ranking symbols. All right, so two, four, six, seven, eight. Plus, we can untap two, so we can have ten mana. So I could use four for this if need be, and then five, six, seven, eight, and even the force landing nine, ten. It's like if there are a bunch of. Flyers out there. Or there are a bunch of uh, two drops. All right, so it looks like we're not going to need to blast zone. But five, six, seven, eight, nine. I still want to save Force Landing for Phoenix. I will endure. Behold, nature's true power. Let's tear sometimes rest. Ha! I've seen worse. All right, let's just get this Domri out of here. And then I'll play Wild Growth and Branch. Like, I'll play the two, two drops. Oh, you haven't seen the last of me. Hey, Danny Fox, good evening. Another Hellkite. Hmm. Wow, Nissa's really strong. You hit a Nissa, your opponent dies. Nissa is quite strong. 
then. Yeah, new Karn's in here. Uh, I sideboarded out, though, uh, for this matchup. A little slow here for this this one. Yes, this is a very good deck and best of one. Yes. Uh, you, you would... Uh, you wouldn't want to play this exact 75 in best of one because your sideboard, you want your sideboard just to only be artifacts for best of one for Karn. But yeah, it, work, it works quite well. There you go. Storm already got your sixth win in Singleton. Very, very nice. Um, does... All right, so with Singleton has, all right. Is there anybody here that's that didn't, um, that didn't get all fifteen wins in one of the other events? And if so, in the store, are like are the the panels that you didn't win are those just sitting in the store? Or like not the panels, you know what I mean? The the art. Um, Whatever they're called, the, the stained glass things. Are those in the? Are those in the store? So I'm, I'm basically wondering, like, if I if I don't take the time to win the 15 with Singleton, will I just be able to buy them anyway? Okay, it says it'll probably be available at a later date. Gotcha. Alright, so that blocks that. This and this block here. Hmm. We've just only had lands and mana creatures here this game. We need one of our three force landings or, I don't know, like a planeswalker to start doing stuff. A Jade Light Ranger wouldn't be bad. Cool, Rex. Glad, yeah, glad those are all doing, doing well. Hey, and other Rex. <laughs> Good afternoon. Stopping by to say hi. Well, thanks, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, awesome curve, opponent. Very good hand. Looks like we're gonna die. Yep. We had seven lands, four mana creatures, and two explore things. And that does not beat flyers. Thirteen cards, having seven lands and four mana creatures in the thirteen cards. Not so good. Uh, no, Seniad. Ban Arkbow, Kojunk. Yeah, Ban Arkbow is my. My favorite deck these days, my best performing deck. Of course, I say that now, we'll probably lose with it later on. All right, well, we'll try this out. 
Uh, how do you not get bored playing Arena? Uh, it helps playing just, uh, you know, the wide variety of decks. You know, I just play so many different decks all the time. And so that really helps that I'm not not playing the exact same thing all the time. Okay, well... Not looking good. It's not like Karn like really even does anything here. Together we will prevail. Blah. We had just an Ugin. So they're playing Sultai. Wonder if my deck just needs like more. I don't know. I don't know what it needs. Yeah, it's just like those those cards that our opponent played are the exact same cards in our deck. You know, like we have Llanowar Elves, Branchwalker, Jade Light, Nissa. We have those exact, you know, we have four of all those cards that our opponent just played to kill us. You know, but we just drew a couple Karns. Um, I do think this is a Karn matchup, though. I don't think I actually change anything. I just hope to draw better. Well, the problem is we haven't really been drawing the Explore Package these games that we've been losing. I wouldn't say the Explore Package has been the problem. Like, we just got wrecked by the Explore Package. Uh, I would say that Ban Arc Bow is more of the jack-of-all-trades in those two descriptions. Not It doesn't have extraordinary good or bad matchups. Um, yeah, it doesn't really have any matchups that are, like, unwinnable or any matchups that are unlosable or anything like that. It's just pretty good against everything. There we go. That'll fit our curve. It's a creature to protect the Karn. Get us more lands to Nissa. Oh my gosh, I just didn't even play the Llanowar Elf? Oh my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> I was just talking and... Yeah, so sometimes you're just talking, and man, this game's been an embarrassment. Oh well. Got to uh, still freshen up. So we still have the Nissa next turn. We're just not playing Karn this turn. Which honestly may not be the worst thing. <laughs> yeah there's times that i'm just like you know answering a question as you saw like right there there's times that i'm just talking and answering a question and i'm just really thinking about that and just kind of glaze over something really obvious like playing turn one land or elf because i'm just thinking about the answer to the question it happens, and I, I don't think that's not, it's definitely not the, the fault of, of anybody asking a question. Um, you know, I, I like the questions and stuff, it's just, that happens from time to time, so hope you all aren't mad at me. So there'll be there'll probably be some some YouTube comment in here and then saying that I'm horrible and all that kind of stuff. Get those sometimes. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Okay, so we're gonna have Karn. We're gonna have eight mana here. 
Let's go grab Meteor Golem. And I would rather have the Llanowar Elf block here this next turn than the Paradise Druid. So the land will not forsake you. that's why I'm tapping the Llanowar Elf instead of the... Or sorry, tapping the Paradise Druid instead of the Llanowar Elf because I'd rather trade with the Elf. Yep, Teferi's going to rotate this fall. Hey, we got Nissa and then Karn out. For, you know, like we got Nissa out first. We win. What a surprise! All right, let's try it again. So the next turn, we were going to be able to go grab uh, Helm of the Host to copy Meteor Golem. That was something that we could have done the next turn. Whoops. All right, good hand. Really like having the J Light Ranger as a nice go between before Nissa. I'm good at what I do. My path. I won't forgive this. That card's mean. I don't think trading my Jade Light for their Jade Light is uh, too necessary here. Its pain is our gain. What a strange and magnificent world. <clears throat> the land shall conquer you. All right, can I activate Field of Ruin and play Ugin? No. So again, I'll keep the land off here. Ugh. That's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Research. I have learned much from my ancestors. All right, well, I don't really know how I'm supposed to win this. Sacrifices must be made. Okay. So that could grab like a spyglass.
he'll die the next turn though. Um, I guess I might as well just grab a Meteor Golem. Spyglass gets negated the next turn. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what standard's like if Land of War Elves is not reprinted, because Land of War Elves is going to rotate, and you can see here, uh, I know, I noted this like, how many different, like, Land of War Elves is just such a huge part of the format. What happens to the format if there is no Land of War Elves? Saying green dies is very spring uh, eternal. And Nissa gets to survive. Get to keep activating Nissa. Yeah, they could have Rascal ulted for lethal there with the Elder Spell. Yeah. Well, the land has Indestructible. If I kill Nissa with this, then Tamio gets it back. Uh, if I kill Tamio, like they still have Nissa out, that just gets to activate and make indestructible three threes. I can't beat the indestructible ones. Or we're losing the battle to the other green decks. I mean, that, that whole match was just who gets Nyssa first. That's all that was. I mean, there's obviously other other things to it, like their negate on my Ugin uh, was critical. Hey, Doctor. Sunday's going okay. 0-2 um, so far, and I... So, not great. The d double Shalai across the sky deck. Yeah, I'm going to be playing that one later with the Band Arc Bow. Uh, I really like that deck. I kind of want to just play that deck more today instead of playing... Um, instead of really playing Grixis Control, I kind of want to just play like a lot of Band Arc Bow. But I think it's best to play four different decks, be able to have four videos and everything. Hey, we got turn three Nissa on the play. Myself. We're so good. We so good. So they want Krasis. Well then I shouldn't let them have it.
I've seen things that would break someone like you. Behold, nature's true power! So this is the same matchup we were just playing. So we'll probably be just field ruining this Wilden Cemetery the next turn. I lead the Golgari now. Step aside. Take out their black mana. I won't forgive this. No one knows the wilds like I do. Okay. The land fights for us. So of course the plan is to be able to ultimate Nissa, make these indestructible, and put a whole lot more forest into play as well. Just you know, get out like all the forest out of my deck. Basically, hmm. I guess I could have added some mana first. Honestly, I'm honestly not sure if that's that big a deal. Come to me. Brand new to MDG and just tuned in. Could you give a short explanation of what the game plan of this deck is, its strengths and weaknesses? Uh, yeah, basically this deck is just trying to ramp to a lot of mana really quickly and play uh, big powerful planeswalkers at the top end. Uh, the weakness is that it doesn't really have... The strength is it does that very well and it's really consistent. Uh, it's just one color, so you don't... You know, uh, so you have a really consistent game plan of doing that. The weakness is it doesn't interact with the opponent very well. And if it gets behind, it can, be, it can struggle catching up because of that. So it's just a Crucible of Worlds matchup. They have like what, like two basic forests, probably. Maybe they have a little. Maybe they have a couple more than just two. They have at least two. Um, no Dreadhorde if you go Crucible. Yeah, let's try Crucible instead of Celebration. I mean, I know I can just grab Crucible with Karn, but the Celebration's pretty slow here. I've been debating whether or not I want the Force Landing for Hydroid Crisis. 
I'm gonna not play it. But yeah, I do it like the Karns can grab Crucible as well, but I'm gonna try to have the Karns probably grab spy glasses. Bleh. I just need one green land. No green land. Well, Sand doesn't look so good. <laughs> Dark sets reversal in your sideboard for Dread Horde and Mass Manipulation. There you go. I mean, they, you know, they do just put the those cards back into their hands, right? So like you, you copy their Mass Manipulation, but then they just get the Mass Manipulation back. So the next turn they can just use it again. And steal things again. I'm gonna play the Paradise Druid because it can add mana for me. I considering using the Field of Ruin. Bleh. Hmm. Attack. Do not underestimate my fortitude. Hmm. So if I feel the ruin right now, then they get a basic forest to be able to activate with Nyssa. Jeez. So I'm going to wait a turn. And incentivize them to tick up, you know, like basically make them tick up Nissa if they want to make a creature on an, on another shock land. Because turning these just into forests is like really isn't a big deal. Um, yeah, they're just really bad against Krasis either way. That 2 1 Jade Light Ranger is a killer. It's not a 3 2, at least. <laughs> How many matches in a row has Nissa defeat or won us the game? Uh, basically, every single game so far, uh, except for against the, the green red deck that had some flyers. But basically every single game, it's just, it's just Nyssa. So playing the Nyssa deck where you don't have good interaction for their Nyssa is pretty rough. Um, Hostage Taker is quite bad for me to see. I guess I am going to go ahead and just play these Force Landings.
and take out Ripjaw Raptor. I could just take out Wild Growth Walker. I think it's I think it's one of those two. Uh, Wild Growth just costs two. Raptor costs four. Both of those cards are really really bad against Hostage Taker. I'm just going to cut Wild Growth Walker. I guess it's not only bad against Hostage Shaker, but then also, like, Frasco Golgari Queen. Oh, Hostage Shaker getting Crucible. That is... That is a beating right there. The helm is for. Let's see what we get here. Well, hopefully we get lands. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, helm is just for copying. Um, you know, it's for like whenever you have Nissa and Karn out, it's it's like a great win con, because uh, you know it's easy to play when you have Nissa and Karn. But it's just for copying. You know, maybe your Meteor Golem or your other statue, the God Pharaoh statue. Well, no land for us. So now our opponent's on the track to be able to play Nissa first. Instead of us, well, I guess I guess not. If we just draw the land, because Paradise Druid was basically a land drop. Yeah, all we need to do is draw a land, and then we get Nissa first. That's unfortunate. All four cards, after keeping the two lander, the four cards we saw, none of them were lands. Burn. Man, this has not been fun. Sultai is just doing the same thing that we are. Like those Sultai decks, they're just doing the exact same thing we are, except for they just have the interaction to kill us. You know, like they like negate my Ugin or Finale of Eternity there. Whatever, they just have, you know, Hostage Taker, Crisis, you know, like they just actually have interaction where I don't. These Karns, these Karns have looked pretty, pretty bad. They have been much worse than just playing you know even Vraska Golgari Queen Hostage Taker Hydra Crisis all those kind of cards a lot better than what these cards have been hey Crystal. All right, we'll love having Jade Lights. Jade Lights. Um, it's always a lot easier to hit your land drops 
one and find the important threats too. So love having Jade Lights. Just makes your deck perform so much better. So I want the jade light, this jade light to be a 4-3. That's why I kept the Ugin on top before ditching it. And yeah, there was a land for our next card. So it does look like that if I would have. Um, so yeah, if I would have ditched the Ugin, I would have just drawn that land and my jade light would have been a 3-2. A That's kind of annoying. I mean, do I, do I even want to kill Tristani? I guess I, I guess I will. I was definitely planning on just ticking up Ugin, but we have a backup Ugin. Could be another Tristani though. Do not defy the designs of an echo. Bathe in ghost. The ties that bind us all. Behold, nature's true power. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to use this Ugin to kill the Nyssa now. No, we played we played Sultai the last two matches and now Bant. <laughs> but yeah, it is just Nissa every game. Second Nissa is pretty unfortunate. So like right now I can just go like Karn, grab a Spyglass, and Spyglass the Nissa. That's really unfortunate. Because I actually I was I realized I would have been able to just go Karn Meteor Golem with the mana costing with the bonus uh mana costing because of the Ugin or like the with everything costing less. All right, well, I guess I can still do that. Oh, no, no, because that costs four, right? So now I'll have to just go grab Spyglass. Wow, really? What a hand. Crisis? 
the last card. Alright, well, really should not have got rid of this third Ugin, I guess. I really should have kept that third Ugin. Oh, that's nice. Well then, all right, so I want to... Do I want to Ugin minus, or do I want to grab... Hmm. No, I want to grab Meteor Golem. The only real problem of grabbing the Meteor Golem... And I kind of want to kill the Nyssa, but then they get to swing back pretty easily. The problem with grabbing the, the Meteor Golem is now next turn I, you know, I won't have the ability to minus two Karn and get something else. You know, I can't grab like Helm of the Host. For example, so I'll have to. Hopefully, in two turns, we can grab Helm of the Host and have it be good. I know my responsibility. Bleh. I've got it. I don't really want to kill the Meteor Golem. Can I win if I kill Meteor Golem? I guess I probably can. Sothian, bringing out those boats. Thank you. Why not just let them kill the Ugin? I don't, Ugin's go. just so good. I want to just be able to keep taking up Ugin. I think that that's quite valuable. Well. I don't actually have an out to that game one. 
Uh, they're going to be drawing multiple cards a turn here. I don't, I don't have anything in my deck that does anything besides, like, you know, because, like, none of these cards do anything. So it's just, like, these things, and that that's not going to beat our opponent at all. Uh, no, that, um, the Meteor Golem dying there, uh, it would not have saved us. Because I need to activate Karn one more time to grab Helm of the Host to start copying Meteor Golem. And, and obviously the Immortal Sun says that I can't activate the Karn anymore. So no, it wouldn't, would not have helped us. All these other Nissa decks are just better than mine. Well, there's to it. All these other Nissa decks. I just have better cards than what I have. Oh, I did forget about Blast Zone. That, that could kill Immortal Sun, yeah. Blast Zone wasn't out. I forgot. I just forgot about that card in my deck. I was I was trying to think of anything. I didn't I didn't think I had anything. I forgot about that. Uh, it was, you know, it was very really unlikely that we draw one of the two Blast Zones, but we could have. You know, it could have been the next card. Yeah, I don't know about Wild Growth Walker. I've been cutting him sometimes in the previous, like, you know, these previous matchups. I've been cutting some Wild Growth Walkers, but that hasn't really been working out. Like, I'm thinking maybe we can get a Wild Growth Walker early that can pressure their Planeswalkers. I don't, I'm not uh, really confident about that, but I'm not really confident... at all in my chances here. I should have just gone Bronted on Wild Breath Walker first. So there's just Nissa here. Please don't have Nissa. Can we play against one of these Nissa decks once that just don't doesn't have Nissa? Nope. We can't. This land, we are all That's great. Harness the elements. I will return. Should have played Wild Growth plus Bronzedon the previous turn. It was the safer play against Nissa. 
I'm just throwing my Karn out there right away. The land shall conquer you. My opponents have been playing a lot more Nissas than I have. It's been unfortunate. Thank you so much, John. Thanks for that support there, that Twitch Prime sub. I really do appreciate that. Bringing out the boats Rise, my on this friend. Sunday. respond. Thank you. I thought I was going to let me respond here. Of course, I can't blow up like the other forests. The land bestows opportunity for those. So now they get blue mana. They didn't. They were lacking blue mana, so I could see them having stuff like Krasis in their hand, blue spells, and so ultimating Nissa here is going to be able to get them some blue mana. Well, I guess this this Paradise Druid, yeah, they just untapped this Paradise Druid. Yeah, that that was blue. This one was not giving them blue before this turn, but yeah, I guess this one gave us gave them one blue. Need to find another Karn and go get Humble the Host. Oh, yeah, An another Krasis or a Finale of Glory, you know, like they just got. You know, so many lands out of their deck now, and I'm going to be pretty dead. They still have 8 mana left. 10 mana, I guess. Sorry, they still have 10 mana left. Alright, well that was pretty horrible. 
in all those Nissa matchups. All right, I'm done with the deck. Tapping out. Yeah, our yeah our opponents just all had Nissas and we didn't, and they all had really good cards and we didn't. <laughs> um. So you know, like we're trying here with our eight mana creatures, eight explore creatures, and the four Nissas to try to get our Nissas out as fast as possible, but we were not finding them. Uh, those lot like the besides so we had the the one match where we lost to the flyers and then every game besides that with the other three matches uh our opponents played nisses before us and killed us basically so yep um that was pretty rough for us unfortunately this time because of that we were always facing down a lot of pressure and a lot of mana and everything, and so the Karn, the Great Creator, was not very good for us in these games. Um, it was just getting killed right away. Um, but yeah, real, real rough four matches there. Uh, you know, four matches can kind of go anyway, but we were facing very similar decks that were just better you like they they had nissas then they had hydro crisis to go with the nissa and we didn't that was all those games all right well that's mono green tron uh yeah that's about all to say about the deck um i don't think it's like a terrible deck or anything we just you know we just ran into other people out nissaing us all the time it's a very good card that's nissa it's a very good card all right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it, even though we lost all our matches. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you for another, uh, another video.